Let's go ahead and bring in Josh Cozart. Josh, as Jeff mentioned there, nothing to mess around with when you get a warning like that. No, and, and we can all be thankful that it was really ending up to be a false alarm, but it goes without saying that any time a warning like this is put into place, you need to take action very similar to what so many people along the coastline did earlier today. Now again, the tsunami threat is canceled. The earthquake, it happened right around 1044 this morning. And you got to remember that a tsunami is not weather related, but rather geologically caused for us. As the ripple effect continues with aftershocks still firing up just to the south and west of the Eureka, California area, as the brunt of that earthquake was a 7.0 magnitude. Now, all of this came together right around the Mendocino Triple Junction. So that's where multiple uh, really kind of tectonic plates come together to create that earthquake. Now, a tsunami is created with those plates shifting underneath the ocean floor, and all of that energy is then transformed into a wave that starts to push its way on shore. And one of the leading signs that it could potentially be dangerous is when you see the water start to retreat back, that's preparing for the large wave. But right now, all is calm and quiet out towards the Lincoln City area, as I am anticipating the return of some wet weather. We'll be breaking down that timeline for you coming up in just a few minutes.